However, I was experiencing something even at the start of this transition that was very alarming. I was becoming triggered with this transition. Honestly, I want to see if I make through the filming of this because I'm getting to the most, mm, almost the most vulnerable part of, of my story. But we're inside my car because it is cold outside and we're going to do these videos right here. It's going to be great. <laughs> My name is Amanda, welcome to my channel. I am sharing with you another vlog, another part of my testimony with my journey recovering from mental health issues. It's a, it, this is gonna be possibly a lifelong journey, but we get better every day and we heal more every day as we move forward to find wholeness in the Lord. So my hope and prayer is that my testimony would encourage somebody else out there and encourage them to get help as well. And to know that God is for us, not against us, even with our mental health. He wants us to be healthy in our brains and in our emotions and some things we have to do on our part to find that healing, but he will provide what we need. He will provide the answers that we need if we are truly searching out healing and help from him. Where I left it off last time in my vlog before this one, was that my husband and I were thinking about and we decided to return overseas serving as career missionaries in another country. So this decision was indeed made and we were getting ready, doing fundraising to live abroad and serve the Lord as career servants. I have previous vlogs that document some of my journey prior to this video that I filmed. So go and check that out. I have a playlist called my mental health journey and you can catch vlog one all the way up to this vlog however you do not have to go in order to gain value from everything that i'm sharing in these vlog videos so this is number 16. <laughs> vlog 16. we already had done a stint together for five years married serving the lord in one nation east asia and our heart's desire was to get back on the mission field and continue to serve him after I got some healing. So this is where we are in this part of the story. Us launching out back overseas, doing some fundraising, going through a different organization. So there was a lot to learn and a lot of transition in making this decision. However, there were current world events that have caused that nation not to be on our radar any longer to return to. We already made a decision to return overseas somewhere. So even though we already made that commitment and our sights were redirected to another nation, it was still very hard to grapple the reality that we couldn't go back to the country that we loved and the people that we fell in love with. Though we knew that God would give us a love for these new people that we were going to serve. So fully committed, we began this transition with selling our home, moving, starting to fundraise, doing some more training as workers to go abroad, and knowing that we would have to leave behind our family dog, which was very heartbreaking for me. Very, very sad. Even though we found a family that were committed to take her in, they already knew her, she already loved them, and that was very, very comforting. It encouraged my heart that we were gonna be okay when we left her behind. And God definitely was in our journey to take care of these small details such as selling our home and providing the funds that we needed as well as our dog being well taken care of. However, I was experiencing something even at the start of this transition that was very alarming. I was becoming triggered with this transition. My life was, how do I say this? I was used to the structure that we had built living in Virginia. I was used to the schedule that I had created. There was a consistency and a stability that I had, which actually was helping me be healthy, helping me not have to struggle so hard with my mental health. Jumping on the train of transition again, 
and everything being an upheaval and a little bit of chaos because we didn't know where, where we would be one week after another in, in fundraising. I didn't have the stability anymore that I needed. I didn't have the structure that I craved. And I started having red flags and triggers with my mental health. I started struggling again with depression and I started to struggle really, really bad with anxiety. And then eventually my panic attacks would come back and return worse than they were before. And I just, I just decided in the moment though, because of the commitment that we made, because of the training we went through and everything that we were doing, the word we gave to those that were going to support us. I just knew I needed to just stuff all this down and I told myself and convinced myself that this was just circumstantial. It was because our lives weren't making sense to my brain because we didn't have a home and we didn't have roots anymore. And so I believed with everything in me that once we got settled in our new nation, in our new home, that everything would calm down and all of these triggers wouldn't happen and I would be okay. Okay.